My name is Roberto Osti, and I'm the author of um, Dynamic Human Anatomy. Um, the second book, this is the second book of a series dedicated to human anatomy for artists and figure drawing. The first book is um, Basic Human Anatomy, which I discussed in previous uh, uh, video. Um, so with this short video, I want to introduce you to the content of um, this book. And uh, this content is distributed in uh, nine chapters. Um, dynamic human anatomy is uh, about movement, uh, proportional and aesthetic of the body, um, and um, um, how basically how um, movement and aesthetic are are, are uh, connected. Uh, in chapter one, I um, discuss how the knowledge of um, uh, anatomy helped in. Uh, um, improving the aesthetic or, or uh, injecting aesthetics in, uh, in the artwork starting from antiquity. Um, in chapter two, I analyze in detail uh, the harmonies created by the inherent aesthetic, uh, inherent aesthetic geometries, I like to call them aesthetic geometries, um, and proportional relationship of the body. Um, a concept that was um, codified, let's say, by Polycletus in the 5th century um, BCE. Um, in, uh, oh, thank you, Michael Grimaldi, for lending me uh, this beautiful drawing. Uh, in chapter 3, chapter 3 is dedicated to landmark and master volumes. Um, and here I am... So basically here I discussed the, 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 the musculoskeletal connection. This is a very important um, uh, knowledge to have because uh, um, it's uh, permit to uh, observe, read the body of the model uh, correctly and uh, recreate it, draw it correctly. Um, in... Uh, um, Chapter, um, so you can see, also want to quickly show you the difference between uh, the uh, way I deal with anatomy in, uh, in this book compared to, to basic human anatomy is uh, that um, in basic human anatomy, I go systematically from uh, the, um, the deep to the superficial um, layers, building up the body. So this is really systematic topographic anatomy, see the deeper, gradually, gradually, gradually more superficial, and um, all the way to to the final layer. And uh, um, this chapter is really focusing on how to recognize the landmarks, for example, the main muscular volume that uh, will become so important later when we um, uh, try to observe them in uh, the external form of the model. Um, in chapter four, and this is one of my demos I prepare from my university courses, where I show the student where the main muscles, um, the main landmarks are. Um, so here I show how to, I show how to, um, the, the, to, to basically uh, practically use, apply to the practice figure drawing, the concept um, discussed in the previous chapter. Um, in uh, chapter five, thank you, Noah Buchanan, for this beautiful um, work. Um, in chapter five, I uh, I discuss um, the what I call the the inherent aesthetics of of the human body, the the aesthetic created um, by the body, um, or, or or inherent uh, or essential, typical of the body in. Um, movement or at rest, all these kind of flows, see how these flows that are typical of the human figure. And um, we should be able to read, interpret them, understand them, capture them. Um, in uh, chapter six, uh, thank you, Scott Noel, for this work, fantastic uh, demos. Um, um, so in chapter six, um, I, you can, you're going to see the um, mechanics of movement, right? It's more related to the mechanics and how to um, apply the, um, the concept described previously to movement, narrative, 
and um, uh, in figure that we can create both from uh, imagination or uh, better um, appreciate uh, the the proportions, the movement characteristic of the uh, model we are copying. In uh, chapter seven is dedicated to the hands from a very structural um, and proportional um, uh, point of view, but also eventually also dynamic. So I'm gonna get into um, the move the hands in movement. So at the end of each chapter. I have um, exercises and um, uh, pertinent to the specific chapter that you can do to uh, really assimilate uh, the content, the content of the book, right? These exercises. In chapter eight, I discuss the face and facial expression. This is um, a work, a detail from a work from my, my hometown, Bologna. It's um, 15th century by Nicolò dell'Arca, and I found it just com too beautiful, so compelling. I, uh, I'm amazed how um, beautifully detailed these uh, and correct these facial expressions are. So in here, we uh, I discussed the, some historical um, um, precedents uh, of showing how the facial expression were used throughout uh, the center in our history, but also I show charts how to um, that show the proportion on the head, uh, front side view, um, how to find or develop actually gradually planes of the head, and eventually, um, and eventually um, the muscles and uh, detail of eyes, etc. And chart to show um, the um, muscle involved in various facial expressions. The uh, last chapter is dedicated to measuring and drawing techniques. Thank you, Dan Thompson, for this gorgeous um, drawing. And um, uh, in here, you will find uh, um, various techniques, the techniques that are mostly associated with uh, figure drawing. Um, that is uh, graphite on white paper, tone paper, charcoal and chalk, trois crayon technique, reduction technique, measuring technique, and um, also examples of works by variety of old masters uh, that can inspire, but also friend, uh, colleagues, and students, such as uh, Dan Thompson, Noah Buchanan, um, Brian Booth Craig, uh, Richard Morris, um, Zachary Stith, Daniel Maidman, and, and Patricia Whitewood. Thank you.